YouTube world. This is Zookeeper. Once again, I'm uh, talking about three-point hitches and tractors. So this is my little draw bar that I got. Um, really handy for pulling stumps and different things. It's got a pin on it, a hitch ball, and it's got another option here. If you had a different hitch ball size, I suppose you could use that. Mainly, I use it for moving the utility trailers around more than anything else. And it is kind of handy if you have to drag a log. You know, you just take your cable and unscrew this guy, put your cable through there, and you can hook a log really easily. The issue I've got today is I'm just doing some fall maintenance here and I'm um, checking the three point hitch, and I see that I have my draw bar off to the left hand side of the tractor. You can see right here how the draw bar. Uh, and, and my accessory is not centered at all on the tractor. It's off to the left hand side here. So how do you correct this? Well what you have to do is you need to push this this way and if you tighten this side you pull it this way because this length here shortens. So I have to increase the length on this side and go over to the left side and decrease the length on that side. So I'll give you an example of how this is done here. You just pull the pin out like that. There's the pin. Lay it somewhere convenient and just undo your turnbuckle in the loose uh, direction. Now, turnbuckles can be different. Um, I'm assuming that your turnbuckle was put on the correct side there we go. See? I loosened that up. Now I can swing this over and get it aligned. And right about, eh, you know, this is meant to move a little bit. Right about there looks pretty good. You know, I don't know that this is necessarily perfectly formed. Um, then I'll tighten this turnbuckle back up. Just gently. So I don't want to move it. I'm starting to put some pressure on it. It's still loose. This is not the most elegant system in the world, but it's what the tractor came with. And I'll pull the pin out of this other side, and now I have to tighten up this other side on the left. One of the things you'll see is this guy's got a little whacker in it. I had a hook on the back here, and the hook pinched this. So in order for me to turn this, I've got to be pretty violent with it. So here we go, turning it. This is not at all fun. This thing does not want to turn. It wants to fight me every step of the way. But you know what? I did this to myself by not being careful. I got nobody to blame me. So blame myself is exactly what I'll do. Now I'm trying to get one more bite on this. That's getting pretty tight right there. This thing does straighten out pretty well as you tighten it. I just need to get it where I can line up the hole. And that's pretty tight. And as you can see, she's off to the right side a little bit. So I'll go ahead and back this off a turn. I'll let it half a turn actually. Let's see. There we go. Okay. I'll tighten this other side up or loosen it. Sorry, wait a minute. I did that. Why is that doing that? To me? Okay. Put the pin in. I'm satisfied with the alignment. I like to keep uh, my parts a little bit on the snug side. The reason for that is so that I don't wear out the end joints because if you have too much play you wear these guys out. Okay, here you go YouTube. You can see that's a much better alignment and all it took was pulling a couple pins and moving the turnbuckles until the alignment was what I wanted it to be.
this video has value to you, please like and share. Have a great day, guys.